so pretty, oh my gosh. Why have I not used these? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be trying out your current favorites. I'm super excited about this, and when I initially had you guys submit your current favorites on Instagram, my original plan was to go through everything and try to find almost a full face of things that I hadn't tried before, because I thought that would be the most interesting. However, with everything going on, I personally have stepped back and started to just enjoy what I already have. So with all the products that I selected, most of them I already own, but it's really fun to see what you guys are still loving. There are a couple new things that I either received in PR over the past couple months that I set aside for this video or that I purchased myself over the past couple months that I've been saving for this video as well. Um, also the eyeshadow palette I have had for so long and I have never used it on camera and somebody said it was their current favorite so that's what I'm going to be using. But yeah, I'm really excited to try all these things out. There's also a couple of makeup tips in here so I hope you guys are excited. Let's go ahead and start by prepping the skin a little bit. I'm going to start with the um, Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm. Jay Waters 97 said that this was one of her current favorites. I have had this for a minute and I've used it a few times and you guys, it really is so good. It has a little bit of a plumping effect to it, but it's like ultra hydrating and really, really nice. So I wanted to make sure to prep the lips before we do lipstick later with that. Also something really, really interesting that Lena suggested was to use the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist as a primer. So I love this stuff. As you guys can see, I love it a lot, but I always use it at the end of my makeup and she suggested to use it as a primer, which makes sense because it's like a youth preserving mist. It has really good ingredients in it. It has hyaluronic acid in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spritz this all over the face. Even though we're gonna do eyes first, I want things to kind of be able to sink into the skin a little bit. Um, we have another primer to use later, but I'm just gonna kind of keep it there as our initial skin prep. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do brows. Kayla Barrier said she loves the Maybelline Micro Brow Pencil, which I'm assuming is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. This has become one of my all-time favorite drugstore brow pencils, so I was really excited to see that somebody else really enjoys it. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows really quick. Well, I'm feeling good already. I feel like my lips are nice and hydrated. That mist made my skin look so nice and dewy. I love it. So we're gonna go ahead and do eyeshadow next. I'm gonna use my personal favorite eyeshadow primer. I didn't see anybody say anything about an eyeshadow primer. It's possible that somebody did and I just missed it. I don't know. But I'm just gonna be using this right here. It's the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I'm gonna blend that out really quickly. Okay, so for eyeshadow, Spring Birdie says that the ColourPop Elsa and Anna collections are her favorite, and she said specifically the Anna glitter is amazing. So these are the eyeshadow palettes that I've had in my collection for so long. I have heard so many good things about these. I've heard so many of you guys suggest them to me, and I just haven't had a chance to use them. I was swatching and playing with them a few days ago, but I haven't done a look with them on camera, and I haven't actually done a look with this Anna palette yet. So I'm gonna mainly use this one, especially since she suggested the um, Anna glitter, which is this beautiful gold glitter. So that's the eye look that we're going to do. I'm really excited to use these tones. Typically, I feel like these colors lend themselves to more of a fall look, but I'm here for it. I'm just inspired altogether. So I'm gonna start off by taking this shade right here called Wind. It's a beautiful kind of mustard brown. I'm gonna tap off the extra and I'm gonna start to just buff this right into the crease. I might hop back and forth between palettes just depending on what I'm feeling like, but I am gonna try to stick mainly to this eyeshadow palette. We'll see how it goes. This is blending out so beautifully. Okay, so now that that's blended out, let's see here. I think I wanna dip into this shade right here called Warm Hugs. So cute, I love Frozen, you guys. I'm gonna press that in the inner and outer corners of the eye. I think I wanna create more of like a halo eye with this. So I'm just starting by buffing that on the inner and outer portions. And then once there's less on the brush, I am connecting them in the crease really, really lightly, just blending it into that existing shade that we just applied. What movies are you guys watching right now? I would love to know. I'm always looking for new movies to watch. It's like my favorite way to wind down at night. My husband and I will watch um, a TV show or a movie. We have been getting into Gilmore Girls. I have never seen it before, so we just started watching it and I'm really, really excited about it. We're only on season two, so don't spoil anything for me, but I've been loving it. I really wanna see the new um, Onward movie, the Disney 
Onward movie. I haven't seen that yet. If you guys have seen that, let me know how you felt about it. And just let me know what things you're watching, like if it's shows or if it's movies. I wanna know what you guys are into. And I personally, especially right now, I like things that are happy and uplifting. So if you've got some recommendations for me, let me know. This is beautiful already. Like this color is so, so pretty. I wanna take a little bit of this shade right here called Charades. I'm gonna tap off the extra and I want this to kind of be, I think the deepest color on my eyes, I don't know. I might add a little bit of that purple, but I'm just kind of deepening up the outer corner and I'm making this a little more precise with a smaller brush. So I'm being really extra careful to do more precise lines with this color. Um, I'm gonna bring that into this inner corner here too, just a little bit to kind of help add to the dimension of the eye look. I'm taking the tiniest bit of what's left on that brush and I'm just kind of connecting it so lightly right here through the crease. Next up, I'm gonna take this pretty gold shade called Earth and I'm gonna to start to layer this up in the center of the lid to create a base for that gold glitter I'm going to apply. So pretty, oh my gosh. Why have I not used these? Um, I'm taking that brush that we used with the shade Warm Hugs and I'm just kind of blending the edges nice and softly. Okay. Now, for the best part, I'm gonna take this glitter shade, which was specifically mentioned as a favorite, so this is called Arendelle, and I am going to press this on the center of the eyelid. You're joking. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It has tiny, tiny flecks of almost like a purpley red color mixed in with that gold. Oh, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I know I said I was gonna maybe palette hop, but I'm really liking the direction of the look with just this palette. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'm taking what's left on my finger and kind of going a little bit over the inner and outer portions of the lid, just so that it blends nicely into the other colors. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm going back in with the brush we used with the shade Wind, which was that mustardy brown. And I'm just taking what's left and kind of pulling that up a little bit. Actually, I am gonna dip into it a little bit just to blend out this edge here, kind of buffing up and out. I'm gonna go into the lightest shade in the palette right here. I wanna use this as an inner corner highlight. It looks like it has a pretty golden undertone. It actually has more of a pink undertone, but I think that's so beautiful. And I'm just gonna drag it up slightly into that inner crease, just a little bit. I don't wanna take away from the halo effect, but I do want just a little something in that inner crease. This is so pretty. I'm also gonna take what's left and just apply it right underneath the brow bone. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, I wanna take this Persona eyeliner. This is not a favorite of anybody's. I just personally want to use it. I'm just going to apply it on the outer portions of the lid just to create a little bit more definition against the lash line here. Okay, so next up, Abby Romig, I hope I'm saying that right, said the Bambi mascara from L'Oreal is so amazing. So I have this, they actually sent this to me a while back. There were a few of you guys that suggested that I tried this out or that you said that it was your current favorite. So I'm really excited. This is what it looks like. It's supposed to give you a nice wide open eyes, it says. It's an instant eye-opening volumizing mascara. Let's try this out. Okay, let's see what the applicator looks like. Whoa. So it's got a silicone bristle to it. So it's not a natural hair brush, which is what I usually go for. These ones can tend to scratch my eyes, but I'm not gonna knock it till I try it. So let's go ahead and apply this to the top lashes. Oh wow, immediately this brush is really, really separating the lashes nicely. Oh wow. It definitely is giving very nice, separated, fluttery lashes, which I know so many people love. Also, the wand is a little bit flexible, which is kind of nice. I feel like it really allows your lashes to bend into the applicator. Okay, so I did one good coat on each eye. I'm gonna go back and see how much I can build this. Oh wow, it's building nicely too. Ooh, this is really good, you guys. And you know how I said that sometimes these types of spoolies can scratch my eye? This is a very, very soft silicone applicator. Like I can feel how gentle it would be even if I did accidentally touch my eye with it. Okay, so it built up nicely. It definitely has that extremely lifted, fluttery lash effect. I accidentally got some right here, so I'm gonna wait for that to dry before I try to remove it. That was really, really nice though. I could see how a lot of people would enjoy it. 
And I could also see how it would be good for an everyday type of a lash or you could build it up um, for looks like this as well. So I'm excited about that actually. Obviously with any mascara, I always have to see if it smudges or flakes throughout the day. That is a deal breaker for me. But I usually have pretty good luck with L'Oreal mascaras, so we'll see how it wears. Which by the way, I'm not gonna do a wear test in this video, but for the mascara, I will go ahead and leave a note for you guys down below. Um, I just removed any fallout with a makeup wipe and now I'm going to just press the edges down into the skin. Monica Vargas 25 said the Ren Perfect Canvas Primer is her current favorite. This is a really, really good primer and it made me want to use it when I saw that she commented this because it's been so long for me. So the skin still feels nice and hydrated from that Pixie Mist. I'm gonna go ahead and do four drops, was that four? Yeah, about four drops of this primer, focusing it in the T-zone. Just going to apply this with my fingers. And I am kind of taking the excess and applying it on the rest of the face as well. Anai Alvarez said the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation is one of her current favorites. There were a couple of you guys that mentioned this. This was actually sent to me a while back. I've tried it a couple times and I've really enjoyed it. So I thought today would be a great time to use it on camera. So I have the shade Y225. I'm just gonna take a bit of that on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna start applying it with a foundation brush. This is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush, one of my favorites. I would say that this is like a light to medium coverage foundation. You can definitely build it up and it gives nice coverage, but it has more of like a hydrating, lightweight feel to it. It's supposed to brighten, smooth, firm, hydrate, and even out the skin tone, so sounds good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and take what's left on the back of my hand on my beauty blender and just go ahead and press down this foundation to get rid of any brush lines. I do really like this foundation. I feel like with a lot of the Makeup Forever foundations, it always looks like skin. Like you can still see blemishes through the foundation, but it just evened out the overall skin tone, which is what I tend to look for anyway, because I feel like I can always add more coverage in the areas that I need to with just a concealer. So I feel like that looks really, really nice and healthy. Okay, okay, before I forget, I'm just gonna buff off the mascara marks. Okay, for concealer, J. Luke said the NYX Born to Glow concealer is her current favorite. I have been waiting for an opportunity to try this on camera. This was sent to me forever ago too and I just haven't had a chance. So I have two shades. I hope that one of them works for me. It looks like both of them might work. Hold on. Oh, it might, that might be very light for me. That's very light. Hold on. I have a few more shades. They sent me a few of them. So let me see if I can get the right one here. Hold on. Okay, well, those are both very, very bright. I need to go grab the other two shades. Okay, this one might be a little bit better. This is in the shade Light Ivory. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the under eye area. I'm also gonna brighten up the center of the face with this. The applicator on this is really, really interesting. And I'm going to take my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush to start to blend this out. Ooh, I really like the texture of this. It's thin, so it blends out easily, but it has enough coverage to where it really brightens and smooths out the skin. Look at that, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna make sure to kind of roughly buff this out. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender just to make sure it's all pressed into the skin. That looks beautiful though. I'm just gonna quickly dot another concealer over blemishes just because I don't have one of the NYX ones that is deep enough for my skin tone. Well, maybe that one would have worked, but that's okay. We'll keep it focused on the center of the face. So I'm just gonna blend this out. This is the Pat McGrath concealer. Okay, Corda Sport 20 said the Hourglass Ambient Powder for dry months, and she likes to use this instead of setting her face. So she'll go directly into the Hourglass Ambient Powders. There were actually several people who suggested these. Somebody said that one of their favorite things to do right now is to set the under eyes with it or buff it all over the face. So I first am going to dip into this shade right here. This is from the Hourglass Ambient Ghost Palette, um, but the powder is the finishing powder in Diffused Light, which they do sell as an individual, even though this is limited edition. So I thought I would start by setting the under eyes using this. I'm actually using an Hourglass Concealer Brush to do this. Okay, and then I'm going to take a fluffier brush and I'm gonna dip into my um, ambient lighting palette. I'm gonna take these two shades, I'm gonna mix them together, and I'm going to set the entire face with these powders. I don't know if I've ever done that, have I? If I have, it's been forever and I can't remember. And I feel like in the past, when I have used these all over the face, I've always like set it with another powder first. I haven't ever set my face with these powders, but it is really making it so that my skin looks so nice and glowy and healthy. Oh my gosh. 
Wow, that looks really, really pretty. Wow, I feel like my skin looks so extremely glowy, but like in a good way, it's a soft glow. Ooh, this is fun. I like this video. I'm having a good time. Okay, let's actually finish up the eyes really quickly. I'm gonna go back into the Persona Cosmetics Plum Eyeliner, and I'm first going to line the waterline with this, and then I'm going to apply a little bit of the eyeliner underneath the lashes right here on the outer corner, and then, I'm actually gonna take the charades shade on that same small brush and I'm gonna use that to buff out the eyeliner along this outer third and I'm gonna kind of connect it to the existing shadows up here. I'm taking what's left on the brush and I'm dragging that inward. Next, I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and dip into warm hugs. Make sure to tap off the extra. And I'm gonna place that on the inner and outer portions of the eye just to kind of blend everything out. With a fluffy brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Wind and I'm gonna really tap off the extra on this and I'm going to lightly buff that really far underneath the lower lash line. Well, not really far, but just like along these edges here to kind of create a transition into the lower lash line the same way we did on the top lid, okay? Um, I'm gonna take, where is that? Oh, the brush we used with the Hourglass powder. I'm actually gonna take a little bit more of that powder and just kind of brighten and clean up the lines underneath the eyes. Okay, next I'm gonna take the shade Earth on a small brush. I'm gonna make sure that this product is really packed into the brush. I'm gonna make sure that that happens by kind of doing this into my hand. And then I'm going to press that on the lower lash line in the center to kind of create that same halo eye effect. I'm gonna take the brush we used with the shade Wind and just kind of buff everything out one more time. Okay, let's go ahead and apply that Bambi mascara to the lower lashes. Okay, let's warm up the complexion. Um, Daily Love said, I always am loving the Bamboo Bronzer by Ciate London. It's the perfect tone for my fair skin. I would have to agree, I love this too. I'm so glad that you love it as much as I do. Um, I actually discovered this because of you guys in a video where you guys actually recommended to me your holy grail makeup. This is the Ciate um, Palm Island Bronzer. So I'm actually gonna take that and I'm gonna start to warm up the complexion using this. I feel like my skin is extremely glowy from those hourglass powders. I may have gone overboard, I don't really know. But I also feel like it looks super healthy and fresh at the same time. I'm so glad this bronzer was mentioned because it's been a while since I've used it and I love it. I'm gonna take the brush that we've been using with the hourglass powders, even though this might make my face even more glowy. Ooh, I'm just trying to blend things out. Alyssa Olson said the Honest Cream Blush in Pink Peony is her current favorite. So I've got that right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that on the back of my sponge. I'm gonna make sure to kind of press off the extra into my hand first. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pounce that onto the cheeks. This is such a pretty color, especially for spring and summer. It's a little bit brighter of a pink than what I would have initially chosen for this eye look, but that's okay. I'm actually gonna flip the sponge over and kind of press around the edges using what's left of the foundation and concealer. Okay, so for highlight, Samantha March, who I met, and she's a creator here on YouTube and on Instagram, um, she said her current favorite was the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Highlight Wand. I had actually just placed an order on the Charlotte Tilbury website, picking this up when she commented this. So this is one of the products that I have been saving for this video. I already love the formula of these beauty light wands. This is the second shade that I will have tried. The first one is just like the original one she launched with, but I'm so excited to try this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the product out on the back of my hand. Ooh, I'm so excited, you guys. This is like a beautiful pinky tone. I feel like my face is already very glowy, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of stamp that directly onto the skin. And then I'm gonna use my finger to blend it out. Ooh, that is so pretty. So this one obviously has much more of a pinky undertone, which makes sense because all of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk products are pink. This is beautiful. I'm gonna take my finger on this side of the face and just kind of press from the applicator directly onto the cheek, just so I have a little more control. Oh my gosh, it like blends into my skin though in the prettiest way. Ooh, I love this. Wow, I look very, very glowy today. I'm so excited about that product. Oh my gosh, I'm really happy I bought it. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so, so pretty. Okay, Amina Parent 17 said the Dose of Colors Stone Lip Liner is her current favorite, and she said, I love to pair it with a nude lipstick. It looks so good. So I have that right here. This is the Dose of Colors Stone Lip Liner. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over the lips. Let me actually blot off a little bit of this lip balm. My lips feel so hydrated though. That lip balm is a really nice product. 
feel like my lips are perfectly prepped now. And since it was suggested that I use a nude lipstick with this, I wanted to use JK Magic from Charlotte Tilbury because Beauty in the Books said that that is her current favorite. This is a beautiful pinky nude. Kind of has a little bit of peach in it too. And I felt like this combo would be perfect. Okay, let's step back and assess the situation. I'm first going to buff off any mascara marks that are remaining. I am then actually going to take a little bit of my Makeup Forever um, Velvet Matte Powder and just kind of press this into the areas that have a little too much shine, which is completely my fault. I kept buffing on that Hourglass Powder, but I feel like it can be toned down just a little bit. It looks so pretty though. I really love how glowy my skin looks. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more blush. I feel like the highlighter is good. Bronzer, I feel like, is good as well. I'm gonna take a little more of the light shade in the Anna palette, and I'm just gonna make sure that this inner corner highlight is connected to the lower lashes a little bit, or the lower lash line right here. There we go. Okay, you guys, I didn't pay attention to this username until I'm reading it right now, but Thunderthighs said that the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist is her current favorite, so that's what we're gonna be using. I definitely don't think I need any more dew or glowiness in the center of the face, so I'm gonna focus this on the outer portions. Even though we're very glowy everywhere today, I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz a little bit of that just on the outsides of the face. And then I didn't personally see a brow gel favorite, so I'm gonna use what I've been using. This is the M Cosmetics Micro Fluff Brow Gel in the shade um, Brunette. I've been really into this recently. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set the brows with this. All right, you guys, so this is the final look using all of your current favorites. I love how this look turned out. It was so fun for me to be able to try a couple new things, like this eyeshadow palette. You're kidding me. Like, I can't believe I haven't used this since I got it. I honestly can't believe this is my first time using this on camera. Um, there were so many other things that I loved, so many different combinations of things that I loved. I really enjoyed using the Pixie Milky Mist as a primer. I feel like that really set the stage for this entire glowy look using the hourglass powders as setting powders really amped up the glow as well. It seems like you guys really enjoy more of a dewy finish when it comes to complexion products, and I'm all about it too. I think it looks really, really beautiful. So thank you guys so much for submitting your current favorites. In the near future, I would love to do another version of this. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. I think it's such a fun way to try new combinations of products or just enjoy what I already have at the same time and just use them in combination with other products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Thanks again, you guys, for helping me out with this makeup look. I love it. I'm gonna look so glowy and dewy at home, but I don't even care. I really, really enjoyed how this look turned out. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay healthy and stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.